Hi, it's Tara. We are on our third getting started video. We're going to install the Smart Deploy client. You might say, why do I need to install the Smart Deploy client? So you can carry out console initiated deployments like imaging, installing applications, drivers. Maybe I want to capture a user state. I can also do other functions like Windows updates. I can look at device information and I can do it all from the console. Let's do it. Let's go to getting started, navigate down to generate install client, and then hit action. The client should point to the API service of your smart deploy central server. And it's going to download. After you have generated this client install, which is unique, of course, to your environment, you can deploy it however you like. You can use group policy. Um, I'm going to use connect. Let me just deploy it and then I will meet you back here and we'll take a look at what happens when you put it in here. And now we've installed it. Once you've installed the clients on your target machines, they will show up in the console, which allows you to view device information and take action on those machines. We're going to go ahead and click on it. You're going to see it when you click over here on the left side pane, go to computer management, and there is our device. All right, let's click on it. Uh, here's all of our information on it. If we click over here on the upper right hand corner, these are the console initiated device actions that we can take on this client if we wanted to right now. And then let's poke around and see what else we can do. Here's all the information, pretty much anything you wanted to know about this device. Smart Deploy will tell you. Pretty nice, right? That is all we're going to do in video three. Next video, we are going to build a virtual machine. I'll see you then. For Smart Deploy, I'm Tara.